Should have enough to build the staff room. So yeah, it'll just destroy my hard-earned walls and uh, build them back up. All right, so let's go ahead and label that the staff room. So it needs a sofa, chair double, and a drink machine. This is going to be a nice staff room. Uh, and a drink machine. Drink machine. I don't know if I have a drink machine. A road gate, large window. Um, oh. That's kind of weird. Like, the things will... You know, oh, there it is. The the highlighted items will come, you know, be highlighted and unhighlighted. Maybe it's just what's on the screen. Okay, so oh, well, that's fast. So these guys put in a new drink machine. Um, so we should probably build a medical ward. Hmm. I'm getting a little, a little claustrophobic here. So, let's just take a look at the room requirements because I know it's gonna take a certain size room. So let me find, I may not have it unless I unlock the nurse or the doctor. Infirmary, okay. Oh, grading. Prison grading. Uh, we're terrible. That's our grading. What is this? We should be able to sell these. It's $200 of logs right there. Wow. That's a lot of money. A lot of extra money. Okay. Bureaucracy. So since health is next, let's go ahead and get our... Um, uh, can we afford $1,000? Both mental health and health. Okay, so it's meal time again. These dudes are still sleeping. It says twelve percent of my prisoners have already eaten. I don't. Um, can we move this man like over here? Like you come over here. But he's still got to pee. Status effects suppressed. I just don't know. Oh, now he's sitting on the bench. Okay, he may have peed. Now he wants to sleep. Okay, yeah, he was peeing. I guess he was stuck on something. Which is weird. Okay, so we can build a medical ward now. Um, I'd say let's make it like a pretty big room. So let's make it like a... Uh, like, like right there. Nine by ten. It's gonna be a really weird shaped room too. I'm fine with that. You know what we need some freaking janitors. The place is getting dirty. Can I hire a janitor? A cook, warden, and county workman. No, I guess a drug. Uh, oh, I thought it said drug handler. That's dog handler. <laughs> Okay, I guess we can't hire a cleaning man, clean him up man, unless we hire maintenance. Let's go ahead and hire maintenance, or get to working on that. Okay, you obviously require an entrance, which I will give you. Oh, hey, it's got a little progress bar on top. Well, that's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. Well, this would be our nursey area. We'll be able to, uh... Heal the prisoners. 
hopefully we don't have any more staff members. One or one's exhausted. Okay. Ding ling ling. Free time. All right, complete. There we go. All right. So we do have a pretty big uh, area for the nursing person to, you know, get her stuff done. Where is that? Oh, we'll bring this down. No, not pipes. Cables, there we go. Here, uh, locked open. There we go. That way the prisoner, the guards don't have to waste their time. Huh. Alright, so it looks like we've unlocked the, the noise. The... Requires a warden. We have, we have one of those. So, automatically heals all nearby injured people, whether they are guards or prisoners. Okay. Objects. Now we want a room. So we can make an infirmary? Yeah. This is the infirmary. So, it requires medical bed. Okay. Oh, $500 a bed. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, I guess we can afford it. We'll have like three for now. Yeah, I didn't actually think it would need to be this big room. Okay, well, I have some people missing their family. So, you know what I think I can do? I think I can give some, uh, some phones. At least some phones will make them feel a little better, I hope. Let's see, where's the phone? Hold the phone, people. Table, bench, electric chair. Let's put an electric chair out in the middle of the, out in the middle of the yard. That way, you know, people won't be so tempted to to you know commit crimes or smuggle things in should probably do that it's five thousand dollars but I don't I don't really want to spend five thousand dollars right now um, okay well we can hire a doctor okay we'll do locked shut or normal okay so now we have a doctor Oh, hire at least two doctors. Ugh. Hundred dollars a day. Okay. And we may have some more, uh, what are they called? Grants we can do. Grants. Okay, I still don't think we should take in more prisoners until we get some more money. Um. Probably should have actually done, you know low security prisoners first. Alright, cell block A. The basics are up and running. It's time to build your first cell block and transfer the existing prisoners into the cells of their own. It raises the prisoner capacity to 15. Alright. So now it wants us to build uh, an entire cell block. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if we, uh, uh, this is a little tricky. Okay, I think the more prisoners we have, the definitely, you know, definitely more, um, money we'll get. So, <laughs> we're gonna have to, we have to make a, make a choice. So, we're definitely gonna have to start building a cell block A. Let's pause, and let's get some planning done. Alright. So, that's a weird thing. Alright, so I think we'll have cell block A come down here. Down a hallway. Let's actually make it a little wider. Right there. Okay, so a three wide hallway next to the infirmary. Uh, I don't actually feel very safe with that next to the infirmary. You know, these prisoners haven't seen a woman in a long time. You never know. All right, there we go. Oh. Okay. Now, I don't think... Okay, we'll do this. 
and this, and we'll make this into its own room. Probably a psychologist. We'll do this, and uh, head off this way. Maybe close that off. I don't know. Still have crap we gotta sell. Okay. And hmm, we're gonna run up into this in this dump of a building over here. So I'm not sure. I think cells. Let's see what size the cells have to be. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Two by three. So a two by three in a room will suffice. And it really shouldn't be bigger than that anyway, because you're just gonna waste money. Um, I kind of want to cut them off from the rest of the prison, so we don't have to worry about you know prisoners intermingling. So, oh, yeah, we're gonna make a giant room. Uh, well, we we're going to make a giant room. Oh, it's like a measuring tool or something. Okay. So we want like our own cell block. <clears throat> so I think this will be, this probably should be for minimal, minimum security prisoners, but since we didn't get any on, a, on the first time playing, you know, we, you know, we don't have any, anything to put in here. So we're just going to have some, uh, mid security people in their own place. So we're going to mark this as, I don't know, maybe minimal security. And then, uh, have this medium security. So this is a pretty big yard by itself. If it is going to be a yard, I kind of don't feel very safe for it being next to the road. Um, mostly because they could escape, but we'll see, you know, we'll, we'll find out. All right. So that will be the yard. Stop the yard, people. Okay. I think, uh, let's see. This is going to be really, really, really weirdly shaped. So I can save space. Um. Oh man. Okay. So I don't know what this will be. Probably be something. Okay, we'll do this, and we'll cut this in half. So this will be the canteen and the kitchen. Hooray! Now let's actually. Span that down. Bring this down a bit too. I need to make this a little larger. Okay, we'll come down here. We'll have a shower. Probably should be a big shower. I'm expecting a lot of prisoners. That's, that's quite a few shower heads we can put on there. How many How many would that be? That's 24 shower heads on both these walls. That, that should be plenty. Alright. And now we get to uh, building the cell blocks. So we'll actually come down here. This is going to be like really elaborate. So it has to be two by three or two by four um, cell. Two by three. Oh. So go back to planning. Planning my walls. So two. One, two, three. Okay, that's. Come on. There. That's the size it has to be. So that is a. Oh. oh, the game's still running. Why? So that's be five by four.
All right. So that's the basic gist of everything. Door here, door here, door here. So this is going to take a lot of um, foundation. Like a lot, a lot of foundation. So what I'm going to do is so we don't have to worry too much. Um, let's get the game going back up. Zoom in a bit. Now we're not going to make this into a foundation. This will probably just be its own little little place. Um, I would like to use the perimeter wall, but I'm kind of on a budget for now. So we'll do this. We will do a prison door, jail door. Right there. Right there. And we want to make sure this, when it's installed, is locked closed. Because otherwise people will probably want to get out of here. Nope. Locked shut. And this will be locked open so everyone can get out. Alright. So now we can start building our giant foundations. So, um, and it has a door, so it should work fine. Oh, wow. This is going to be... Whew. Um, I wonder how much it's going to put me in the hole. Okay, actually, before I do this, um, I think we can accept this grant, because it gives us $20,000 in advance. Okay. So... Foundation, building. Get to work, people. Oh, look at him go. I could hire more um, workmen to, you know, make things go faster, but I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, they're pretty fast. Look at him go. I mean, it looks like they missed a lot of spots. Don't worry about this, you know, in a later time. But everything looks like it's going fine. Um, I think we can check our reports here. Like, prisoner complaints or something. Sell your prison. Selling your prison allows you to take profits from this prison and start a new one with a much higher starting bank balance. Uh, you'll also be able to continue running this prison, but you can only sell a prison once. All profits from the sale will be transferred to a new site. Huh. Neat. Okay. I must be new. I thought there was a way you could check on, you know, your prisoners' well-being. Like their complaints and whatnot. Maybe not. Okay. So, these guys are just kind of to get to... Okay, they're going to dismantle that tree after they build the foundation around it. That too, please. One staff member is exhausted, zero are resting. Well, maybe he should fix that. Alrighty, well, it's been a great time building this place up. I'm hoping it will. Oh, there it goes. Come on. There's a door right here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I need an auto save. Who we? Already Lou. Uh, well, this has to be cut off anyway. Well, anyway, um, that's all I have for right now. 
you enjoyed this video do leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already but thanks for watching this has been prison warden cheeto and i will catch you all next time bye